Hello everybody. Today we're going to be looking at Windows XP and one of the main problems um, with Windows XP that I've noticed. The problem is that on a laptop, for some reason, sometimes Windows XP will refuse to load the battery icon here, such as right now. So um, I can't tell. So right now I'm using this as a laptop. So this monitor is actually connected to my laptop over here. And unfortunately, many times when I turn this on, it won't even show me the battery icon. So I can't tell what percentage my computer's at, and it's very uh, annoying to deal with. However, I have found a very simple solution that you guys can try out. It's super simple. You just need to download one small app. First, go to, go to this URL. I'm going to paste it in, this, in the um, description, retrosystemrevival.blogspot.com. Then once you're there, go to search. And then you're just going to want to type in power. Then you're going to find this, which is power center. You're just going to want to click on that. So we can just read some information here. This is actually designed for older versions of Windows, but it's not really important for that. Basically, it's a really cool app. It, it works the exact same way as the generic um, b battery icon. So what we're going to want to do is just download. <laughs> Looks like my browser crashed. Okay. Uh, looks like my Windows XP browser cannot load this. But don't worry, th this download link has many mirrors or you can download it on a um, newer system. All right, let me try to go back. All right, let me click on the mirror. All right. It's just a very small file. We're just going to download it. Now we have it here. Now we're just going to install this. I'm going to install this on my hard drive. All right. And now it's installed. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to we're going to want to locate the app here. So it's here in this Tim's freeware power center then we open the power center and now as we can see my computer is about to die so I gotta fix that and now I put my computer on charge and now it's showing that now when I click on this I can right click on it and I get many options so I can make it start with Windows or I can even make it go on the top and there are different sort of um, things that you can do with this like you can even have this full thing then it'll show you this but this is kind of just ugly and I don't really like it all too much so I am just going to close that out Or another thing that we can do is, well now I closed the app, so I'm going to have to reopen it. But as you can see, you can now make it start with your computer, so it basically functions the same 
as that, oh, I guess I have to change the setting here. So if we just zoom in, yep. We're just gonna wanna make it really minimized so it's only here, and now it's good. Then you can go to the control center, and in this control center, you can edit some of the sort of things that your computer does. So yeah, this is all very good. Now what you're gonna wanna do is that's just in case you get two icons and your uh, icon does decide to load once, you're gonna wanna disable your old program. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open the control panel and go to performance and maintenance, then go to power options. Then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to power meter and or advanced and make sure that this is not checked then click OK once you're done with that you're gonna to want to go to your taskbar put your cursor on your taskbar right click and click on properties once you do that go to um, customize here and then as we can see here we're gonna to want to locate the First of all, we're gonna to wanna to always show, so that it's always showing this. Click OK. But when, if just in case, for example, that um, icon for your battery actually does decide to pop up at one point, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're simply gonna to wanna to go to here, you're gonna to wanna to click Customize, and then you're gonna to wanna to hide it. So then once you hide it in here, then what's gonna happen is that, as you can see here, it's going to be hid in the uh, sort of what's called the desktop tray. And that's basically how you'll be able to bring this icon back. So just as a sort of test, I'm gonna restart my system right now and we're gonna see what happens. This is just connected to my laptop, so it's just duplicating the screen. So now everything is just gonna get in there. Now we're just gonna wait for all the icons to load. But as you can already see, that icon's already there. The power icon, and if I even unplug my computer, now you can see, so this is what I was talking about. So this icon, which half the time doesn't even show up, decided to show up now. So, so that we don't have two battery icons, which looks really weird, I'm just gonna go here to properties. Gonna go to customize. And I am going to hide 
this. So now we only have one icon. And as you can see, this is the icon from the app instead of the icon from the computer from Windows. And that's all you need to do. So I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, if you have any problems, you can always um, tell me in the comments and I'll respond as soon as possible. And thank you. Have a good day.